and for painting and see where that takes us. That's probably because I don't have this up near my mouth. Is that better? Yeah, you were hearing my pants. Pant mode activated. So we've got these little guys here. These are going to be the hinges. But as is tradition with all things, nothing fits right. I could do this. That would not work. Oh, yeah, no. So we got to carve some recesses for the hinges. And maybe a stiffener or two for the door. Ah, they're small enough. I don't care if they cup. How you doing, life in pain? How you doing? couple things here. Mark. Mark. Remark. Okay. Doing good. Okay. Doors are basically centered. My question is, do I recess? We're at the point of hanging the doors. Payne, we're at the point of hanging the doors. Do I carve out of the door or do I carve out? I love let's carve out of the actual baby here. I got a plan forward. Yay! Okay. Let's make it easy on myself. Put left on left side. That's not a good idea, but whatever. Left on left side, right on right side. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. We're hidden under things. Thanks, dear. I got them because they're the smaller version of the ones that are uh, currently on uh, the big long strap hinges on my top chest. I, I like them too. I like the spear point hinge. All right. Look at that magnificent butt. All right. Honestly, just going to do this and get a, what is a pleasing-ish spacing, and then we're just going to mimic it. Pleasing enough. Okay. All right. And the way to mimic is by actually measuring. I know, measuring is a bad word in my, in my dictionary you never measure. You just keep cutting until they're the same. Okay. What do we got here? Two and three quarter. Three and three eighths. Okay, so two and three quarter. Here. Just 
three and three eighths here. Okay, now we can line up hinges for this side because we got to do a little bit of recessing. It'd be easier to do a recess if I had a pencil. Oh, thank you. They're, they're just bog standard casters. I got them at Woodcraft while I was getting other stuff one day. Because I was like, I do need to eventually get casters for this rolly cabinet. That, that measure the wrong, that's definitely not the right distance. I can, Oh, I did hit the right distance. I'm looking at the wrong line. Why is there that line there? Couldn't tell you. There we go. Hinges are in place. Now, I'll do. We set the depth. We're not looking for accurate, we're just looking for clearance. Gotta make sure that these hinges work. Can't make a line with one point. Sure as hell try though. Okay. Okay, where is my chat bot? There we go. Hello chat. Ah, uh, but Feeling really good about actually getting this thing done. At minimum, we, we should be paint ready by the end of the day, guys. And paint ready means basically the project's done. Now you gotta go this way. want to make sure we have enough room for this guy. Okay, that will actually do with a square. One second here. Where's my favorite little boy? 
There you are. Because honestly, I should have a square at all times. Me not having a square is a bad thing. no sense. We'll figure that out in a second. We'll chalk it up to coffee deprivation. Yep, doesn't fit that way. But it does fit this way. Okay, good. There. Now it makes sense. All right. Now we have fun. Where, okay, there's my mallet. No, dovetail saw. Start the smart way, make the relief cuts. Also, make sure your beverage isn't directly under your arm. That could lead to a bad time, guys. Okay. Am I still on camera? Okay, I am. Remarkably on both cameras, cool. So what I'm doing right now just making a relief cut down these corners so that when I start chopping with a chisel, I don't just start mutilating the board. It gives us basically just a stop cut. Wow, I must have, oh, okay. I guess you can see it. Come on. This is just an odd angle. One second, we'll fix that for me. Boop, boop. Come on. Uh, one day, Twitch, you will work correctly. Sorry if I missed something. The app decided to crash and log out on me. One day, Twitch, one day. cuts made. Before we start hammering on this. Is that a max? I think I hear a max. Okay, the only bad thing about a Nicholson is if you do need to use clamps, make sure you get some long ones for the face. If you're doing something like this, it will be greatly beneficial. But yeah, Nicholson style bench, I still love it. But I mean, I have like a few four foot clamps that I'm not worried about or three foot clamps or fine we'll do it on you ah. all right all right i definitely don't do this in time how you doing how you doing i hadn't seen you in a while in the stream Make me 
Remember that parts of the fun elements are missing at the moment. There we go. Got us a Mini Max and a hat. But how you been, disturbed child? I didn't know if you were lurking or just in general. Okay, set a baseline between those two relief cuts. So everything kind of tears out to that point. It's kind of like doing dovetails all over again. We are putting doors on the bottom rolly cabinet thing for the dovetail, uh, for the, uh, sorry, not dovetail chest, for the uh, Dutch tool chest. It started with a D at least. So we're recessing the barrel hinge portion of this because of the way it's got to connect in. And part of why it's not splitting out is because we cut the corners at an angle, so I need to Relief that out a little bit. There we go. I swear I'm trying to get better at yammering on to at least help to at least help tell people what I'm doing. Ah, that's fine. That's fine. I, I you don't have to watch me. I appreciate it though. Um. Hopefully, uh, after this project, we're gonna start opening up to some weird and. Well, not weird, but more interesting projects than than uh, just shop projects. So, and what I mean by that, there's one major shop project left. That is my turning saw. Um, basically, the idea is it is the hand tool version of a jig slash scroll saw slash uh, bandsaw type thing. It's the hand tool version of that. I'll be building that here soon, but we may be taking a break because there are a couple other projects that are probably going to be coming up. Uh, the Craftsman Guild challenge for this month, or not month, like quarter. Yeah, I want to say quarter because it's like due in October or whatever, is wands. So... We may take a foray into wand building. Uh, most likely we'll be using draw knives and spoke shaves because I'm not comfortable with uh, a lathe at the moment. So I probably won't be turning a wand, but we might just sit down and uh, scrape one out of a branch. And then, um, also in line is going to be a sticker board where like I, a lot of the guild has given me stickers and a lot of uh, uh, other makers have given me stickers and I just kind of want to make a sticker board to hang in the background um, to hold all those stickers. It'll include even like a Woodcraft sticker. I think I have a Lee Nilsson sticker as well. Poss um, I've got Wood by Right. I don't know if I have a Rex Kruger yet. Um, But, you know, something to just put stuff in there. I know I have way cool wood and a bunch of the guild and a bunch of the, uh, just a bunch of people from crafters and makers. Um, then another thing is 
that fabled camp chair that I never made. That's on the chopping block. A shoe bench is on the chopping block. Um, possibly a small alchemist chest is on the chopping block. A little carved sign is on the chopping block. Like I've got a bunch of little projects here. Um, but the first thing will be Mecca's uh, dovetail. Oh. I don't know yet. Probably um, a woodworker's blood. That's probably going to be the core. Because that's the thing that I have most readily available. <laughs> and it'll probably end up there anyways. But I'm also thinking about getting like an amethyst crystal or just like just a crystal of some form and somehow embedding it in. Okay, how you doing? You fit? You fit and you've got room to be moved around and everything? Good. Okay. How about you? Do you fit? You also fit. Fit well enough that we can do things. That's all that matters. Okay, this side is done. I gotta catch one first. Gotta catch one first. You never know, I might do mermaid scales. You know, go on with the pirate stuff. Alright, Max, get over here so we can do the other side. It's going to be great having this thing fully finished. So I can... Because honestly, I might get the, the tool chest right there so I can just get at it. <laughs> Got to make sure... I actually have it gripped. There we go. <laughs> it's not actually gripped. It'll, it'll hold it in place. Just not well. about just ungripped itself. Woo! All right. That I could easily do, yeah. We'll just call it Wolf's Bane or whatever. But yeah, Max's fluff is very easy to get a hold of. That would be a good one to do. Normally when you're setting hinges, you do a lot better job than what I'm doing right now, but since this is kind of an archaic tool thing. There's no reason to bring out the router plane and get everything to the Nat's ass. Um, we're just making clearance because there's this big quarter inch deep barrel that needs to be recessed in. Oh, well, speaking of... <laughs> Not doing a bad job. Well, that'll be hidden. Who cares? No one, no one needs to know. There we go. There's the line. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, I didn't do anything bad. Yay. Am good boy. It's like, it's split out right at the line. Guys, right at the line. Okay. <laughs> Let's establish that face now. Let's just call that a close call. Close encounter of the woodworking kind. We'll have to come up with something interesting, but I mean, like, I'm think like, since I don't really know how to use the lathe properly yet, there's no reason to try and do something like that. I want to 
get a cheap piece of leg stock and just practice doing coves and beads and stuff until I am comfortable with it to do other things. Um, so we're probably going to just use a spoke shave and a draw knife and see what kind of ingenuity I can come up with. Okay, looks like it's clean in time. Ah, but it is good to be in good moods in the workshop again. Last couple streams I was a little grumpy, but we're back at it. And also, like we, we've made decent progress on this, which means we're finally at the end of this project, which I didn't think was going to take this long. I'm just sitting here, I'm like, I should already have this by now. Why is it taking so long? This is such a simple thing to build. Okay, double check, double check, double, double, double check, double check. Doom. This one fits. All right. This one also fits. All right, we good. All right, all hinges fit. Okay. Honestly, the best thing to do is probably just go ahead and like lay these babies on. Yeah, we should probably get these hinges attached and then figure out the door from there. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Drill. We need a drill. And we need screws. Drill time. Oh dear, are you late? Sorry about that, dear. Okay, what size works for these little ba brass screws we got? There we go, found it. Oh, and I did find my drill bit from last time, where the one that dropped on the ground. It made it all the way <laughs> to the other side of the shop. Have fun at D&D, dear. Kill an orc. Kill Link. And Legend of Neil was always a fun, stupid uh, internet series. Okay. How far do we want to go in here? You know, it really doesn't matter if we accidentally go all the way through. Do I have... Yeah, I got some blue tape. Good. We can make us a 
a visual depth stop. How about that? Let, let's be smart. Yeah, I need to put pound, I, I need to put lurk as one that doesn't have to be exact. In fact, I can fix it. Actually, no, I can do this one visually. Okay, now that I know about how much of the drill to see me do a weird thing with this and I'll explain it in a second. I'm drilling it just a little bit deeper but these are brass screws so you never want to dry I mean you could with pine. Pine you, is probably forgiving enough because of how soft it is. This is white pine, so it's very forgiving. But let me at least address the elephant in the room. That is, if you're using brass hardware, brass screws, whatever, get a normal screw first. Now where are my old normal screws? Normals, because I only have a few of them left. Oh, it's not that I have a few of them left. The ones that I have left are like two inches long. Um, I only have a few of these short babies left. So, brass is notorious for stripping out and breaking. Let me see if this will work correctly. Where is Senor Yankee? And I could do this with something that isn't a Yankee. I could just grab a flathead, but you guys know me. Let's go as weird as possible. That's my way. Make sure I have a flathead that will work. Works in this one. Works in this one. Okay, we good. Okay, one second here. Why are you... Something's up. Okay, just a small bind. But you typically want to let a steel screw cut through the wood first. Just because they have, 
have a tendency that if they get stuck, they will shear right off and then you can cry multiple tears. Lock it so it stops doing that. Do, do, do. Okay, which one did I do? I did the bottom. So the bottom goes on. We do the top. Bottom. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Actually, we're going to do, we're going to drive the brass screws by hand. I'm afraid the Yankee will just destroy it. Just because it can create way more torque than your hands. In fact, I wonder... Oh, well, remember what I said? Hardwood definitely, definitely drive a steel screw first. This is white pine, and I can tell right now just the amount of resistance it has. Um, we're fine. Um, just don't over tighten them because you will strip them right out. And you'll shear the head. Um, so we may not use the Yankee at all. Oh wait, we already drilled these holes. All right. Do, 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 do. Me. So yeah, we'll, we'll use the old school screwdriver, the old English pattern craftsman, English pattern handle craftsman's. They, uh, they rule the sea. Big, fat, ugly, bug-faced, baby-eating O'Brien? What's going on here? Hi. Somebody follow. Okay. That's going to be a hard one for me. We're just going to say, boy, say, uh, thank you for the follow. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, can I ask... What brought you here, and uh, what kind of stuff are you interested in? Because uh, this is uh, my name's Wes. This is plain old woodworking. We do a lot of hand tool woodworking here, and we are currently working on uh, a lower cabinet to my Dutch tool chest. This one is a rolly cabinet, so that I can uh, push my Dutch tool chest wherever it wants to go, and it has a little dedicated lower cabinet to sit on top of, so it's not taking up any kind of table space anymore. I'm sorry if that was a load of questions all at once. Just always kind of interested to see uh, who's, who's following here. Feel free not to answer, but uh, glad you're here, glad you're watching. And who knows, maybe it's just the pirate, pirate hat that brought you in. There we go. These hinges are on. On to the other side. Okay, probably not using the Yankee anytime soon, so we'll just put the Yankee back. That's one less thing on my shelves. All right. Probably not going to need the steel screw. Put that into the steel screws. Ah, roll the cabinet. All right.
Okay. Move the phone over here. It's a more natural looking position than over there. Drilling out the holes. All right. This only works if it's held steady. <laughs> Two seconds here. There we go. Oh, that one went all the way through, but that's not that big of a deal. Like I said, this is just shop tool work. If it goes through, it goes through. All right. Do, 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 do. Uh. No, no. Screw overboard. We're screwless. this real quick. We've been wearing this one a good while. Ah. Like I said, normally you'll see me drive a steel screw in because these are brass screws um, to help cut the threads, but this is this is white pine. Um, white pine, very, very soft. Uh, so brass threads don't really have that much trouble cutting into it. Um, if this was walnut, definitely, or cherry or anything, anything's harder than like a pine or a fir, you really do need to drive a steel screw first if you have brass screws just because you can end up i mean yeah heck yeah we're gonna soldier these screws because they're all turning right about the same place let's see if i can do it soldiered 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 they're all horizontal <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. We're going to have to buy more brass screws after we're done with this project. I know we have enough. We have enough even if we break a few. I shouldn't have said that because that's just calling the devil out to play his games. There we go. Soldiered.
soldered. There we go. Okay, all the hinges are in place. Now I need to, okay. We got the front right right in front of me, so I might as well figure out how we doing this. Do do do. Do, 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 do. All right. Just enough pressure to keep her steady so that we can start doing this because we are going to plane the top of these doors off at some point probably. Believe it or not, I have no clue how I'm doing this. Does it show? I got an idea. It ain't a good idea, but it's an idea. <clears throat> I can hear the people talking now. You should have done the doors first. <laughs> Right there, but whatever. Big fat ugly bug face baby meeting O'Brien. Hi. Max eighty one, thank you for the uh, <laughs> thank you for the follow. I guess this could also be a big figuring out point if we take both of these, line them up as such. Put 
ton of overlap. Okay, now. Oh, that's all right. Oh, wait, you're totally off? Like, you don't even have to be in, in work? That would be, uh, that's out of character for you. You know, this would be easier. I was smart about this. And stop trying to do this vertically. Uh, we all have our... Failures. Okay, before we do that, we will need these. I'm sorry, you guys may not actually see what's going on this way. that in no time. Uh, I know what's going on there. Oh, thank you, Mecca. Okay, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Where are my other hold pass? Ah. My big nope stick. You're not moving past that point, thank you. smart person would take these wheels off before he does this stuff, but we're not looking for particularly smart at the moment. We're just looking to be moving forward. Another smart person. <laughs> You're gonna learn a lot of ways to mess up on my stream. Um, just joking though. Uh, So, okay, we got a hole. Now, we just drill a test, screw it on, see how it works.
when you're doing weird stuff like this, like hanging a door, you always do one screw in the top hinge and then a line from thereafter. Because you can always readjust, like you, you basically just take one screw to, shouldn't be doing this. I should have been doing this upside down where it was flat. Maybe the next door, maybe the next door. Um, but you always do one screw in the top hinge and then you start adjusting from there. Because you can always re-drill that one hole. You don't want to drill four holes and then have a bunch of holes in your door that aren't being used and have to be plugged. Where is my screwdriver? There you are. But yeah, also if you're doing precarious things like not removing roller, <laughs> roller feet from it, Okay, there we go. Ah, uh, you had to fall out, didn't you? Thought we had an agreement. And here's a good question. Socials should also work, uh, Mecca. Because um, I don't know if that's the Craftsman's Guild or if that's mine, to tell you the truth. Okay, now we close, see how well we aligned, and went, oh, wow, that, that pretty dang good. Dang good. Oh, another hat. And another hat. All right. And at some point in time, I will get those things squared away. Yeah, that's that's pretty much on the line. That's good. All right. So. so I'm fairly confident. That, that one worked. So we take that out. Immediately misplace where your drill is, even if it's right next to the board. That's far enough. Much further and I will bust through the board. And by that I mean I already have. Luckily these screws do not <laughs> go all the way through the board. So at this point, make it easier on me. Oh, good. Okay. That I just don't remember. How can you tell that the concrete is not level? Everything flows this way, right toward me. Now I wish I had a break on my wheels. 
Mm -hmm. And Mecca, I'm not using the Yankee on purpose. Uh, these are brass screws, and even though it's white pine, I'm worried that the uh, Yankee will put too much torque on it. And I'll end up with half the screw in the wood and half the screw on the floor. figure hand hand tightness is probably the key and you'll laugh because the screws are all getting soldiered okay that's all the proof I needed let this sit the way it was pencil where are you going pencil where are you at Oh Lord, up oh, you're underneath everything, gotcha. Okay. This is a stupid idea. 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 In fact, yeah, no, it won't work. <laughs> All right. One. Really wish I had brass screws for the top. Actually, I may end up taking out those screws and putting brass ones in their place. This will work. Okay, good, 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 good. Who's brave? I am, because I know where to stop. Okay, brave also means stupid, but eh, no one will see that. Um, I've got brass screws that are the same uh, diameter and pitch, so like I could theoretically take every single steel screw out and put brass ones in their place right now uh, there are brass ones holding these hinges on their brass ones going to hold these doors on so i may just swap them out for brass because guess what i can't find steel slotted screws And honestly, it might be better for me to switch them out anyways because these are iron hinges and uh, they may eventually try to rust together if I don't switch them out.
Okay. Next screw, but I don't have enough brasses at the moment, but I know where to get some. So that might be the next step. And what is this? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I want to see chat. Come back here. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, you've got another tin of bits? Jeez. Mecca, you could, you are, uh, you're on fire here. Did I, did I tell you that I actually broke a Yankee bit a couple weeks ago? I've got it replaced already, but like one of my, one of my Phillips literally sheared itself off. And it was actually a Stanley bit. It wasn't like, you know, Stanley compatible. It was a Stanley bit. Okay, one second. Yeah. Which kind of threw me for a loop. I was like, are, are you kidding me? I thought this thing was solid, but I've got a new one. Let me hand start this. Otherwise, it's just going to be ganky. The funny thing is, is we're putting all this hardware on it, and then we're going to immediately take it back off to paint it. have to we will pl I didn't even think about that I'm trying to get these things to line up amazingly I can just yeah we'll run a plane on that bottom edge there and the reason it's doing that we need to take just a little we just need to dado just a little bit here I didn't make an allowance for the hinge itself the hinge barrel yes the hinge no so it, it, it's gonna do that unless I do anything about it, which is fine. That's why we have chisels. And it, it may, I mean, like it may have just been a bad bit, but like literally the, the Phillips head portion of it just sheared right off in a metal screw. Okay, check it out. We got one door. We're getting somewhere, guys. We already have line up lines, so, so that they don't hit each other. And like I said, I'm gonna take a shaving off the bottom and then we're gonna hog off the top here, make them level. Well, do I really need to? I kind of like that aesthetic of having just that little bit of a finger grip right there. So we're probably going to keep those. But we'll take a shaving off the bottom. All right. As I said, you know, <laughs> the only one that isn't any kind of resistance. Um, we're going to do that. I'm going to do that. This is what I mean. Like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm loving the fact that this thing's done. Um, I may actually do the wand first because they're, because of the Craftsman's Guild challenge. I may do a wand first, but honestly, the first thing after we're done with this or in between. Here's something I should have done with the first one, guys. This probably isn't going to work. Because, well, this is old, old tape. You know what will work? You know what will work? Brattle. Okay, you're lined up. Find me one of them holes. 
I spy with my wee little finger a hinge. There's the hinge. With that wee little finger, here's the hinge. Where's the hole? Are you kidding? Yeah. Okay, so the tape's definitely not doing anything. Okay, so I won't be able to find that hole. That's fine. But I should be able... The, the tape was directly over the hole. So... I knew I bought this bread all for something. Okay. Up oh, there's... Oh, mm, mm, mm. Okay. There's the other one. If you ever get a chance to get a brat all, they are great. Especially if you get a little one like this little Stanley Sweetheart. Come on, just get in the hole. <laughs> Look at those. Exactly where I need to drill drill points. That is how the brat will all do. So Give me two seconds to get this drilled. Um, for those who don't know what a brad all is, um, sorry, just checking the chat. This is almost you could almost call it an eyeglass screwdriver. Um, unlike a normal like all, it has a flat blade on it. Um, and its purpose is literally to stick into the wood, twist a little bit, and you have a hole to start a nail, or you have a hole to start a screw, or in this case, reach into the cabinet, find the hole on the hinge, jam that baby in the hole, twist a little bit, and you've got your location perfect. I can't believe I didn't think Oh, uh, let's find out. I want to say it's an eighth. Let's see, it's a Stanley Herwood number 17. Shank size is an eighth. Why is that? Why would it stop you on that? Oh, I already have to put them in here so I don't lose them. They're expensive. <laughs> Screws are expensive when they're made of brass. Do -do 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 -do. Like, I really don't know why I didn't do the brat all on the other side. It would have sped things up tremendously. Where is the screwdriver? There you are. Did I? Uh, oops. This is supposed to be the outside face, but who cares now?
So I know a lot of people hate flathead screws, and I understand why, but really the only reason we have something past it is efficiency sake, because you just have to pay attention to what you're doing and they don't come, you don't have really any problems with them. I think the problem really just comes from you having to go as fast as possible. Now using them in a power drill, no, <laughs> do not do that because it will not work. Okay, so we got to skin the bottom of this guy, but not this one. Okay, double check. We still got to, you know, fix this one a little bit, but that's fine because this hinge right here has a little problem. In fact, we could probably, yeah, we can fix that fairly easy. Okay, so what we do here, bread all, bread all. Actually, with as, as stiff as this is open, we might be able to just use this. Yep, okay. Huh. Whatever, it's just blood. But then again, you know, can't show blood on Twitch either. But, yeah. Okay, come on. Just get in there. I want to have two complete doors. So that we can just take all the hardware off. Maybe start mixing up paint. Although I'm thinking about not taking the wheels off at all to paint. Just because they're a pain to put on. Then again, it's really just ratchet them on. I just don't want to go out and go get my ratchet set again. I should make my I should go get my butt a, a ratchet set for the shop because that gator grip is useless. It's like, eh. Okay, this one is good. This one we will start. <sighs> Play. Oh, maybe, maybe it just is suggestive. I don't know. Here soon, um, my nine and a quarter is going to have a friend. Um, 
I went ahead and got a rabbiting block plane. Almost there. Just there. Getting there. Oh, it may actually not even be all that much about the hinges now that I've, okay, there's a little bit there. Just a okay, so from here on. Um, actually, it it's not going to be that variety of it, but it, it's the Lee Nielsen one that has knickers down the side of it. Um, just because I wasn't, I mean, I don't know, I got possessed. Probably the best way to put it. Mainly because I couldn't find a good Stanley, like a Stanley in any decent condition. There's a lot of cracked beds. Yep, we're getting there. We're getting there now. Yeah, I could I could definitely get censored for for putting my knickers down on screen, right? <laughs> really depends on which way they read that. Is it pants? Or is it, or am I doing a slur, or, or am I actually talking about the functionality of a tool? This is where block planes excel. When you don't want to take stuff apart, you're like, I just need to take some shavings off. Don't want to take it apart because then I got to put it back together, see if it fits, and then probably take it apart again. I'm not going to lie, this nine and a quarter has done me good. Now, we do need to fix one thing about the hinges. Yeah, and that, that's part of why I was just like, no, I'm just gonna go with, with what Lee Nelson has to offer. We're gonna do this real quick. Get all of the uh, pine shavings out of here because I didn't think to remove the screws from the project face before I started spewing That. All right. Put my brass screws back up. We now know that number six screws are basically going to be king for me because they are nice size. So what we've got to do, basically just recess this tiny, tiny amount here. <laughs> And how is this going to be easy for me? Uh, just take the hinges off this way. 
No! Alright. I'm just glad the doors line up. Honestly, now that I think about it, I could paint the chassis, then put the, uh, the hinges back on the way they're supposed to be, uh, take the doors off, then paint the doors. That way I don't have to try and label four different uh, hinges. Then again, we kind of do want to at least try and fill some of the mistakes first. I think that's probably the first step. We're going to get this assembled and then get out the putty. Because we got some screw holes that went all the way through that shouldn't exist. And we got some bust out on the inside that needs to be puttied a little bit. So I think we're going to putty at, for the rest of this once we get the doors closed and the front latch on and the top jointed together. Okay. But we are, like I said, pretty much... Pretty much at, uh, let me get my marking knife, because this will be easier with a marking knife. Where you at, marking knife? Mark. Come on out, Mark. There we go. definitely tell they need to be recessed because I can see the screw here, 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 and here. I wouldn't even know how to start doing a wheel style gauge, to tell you the truth, Mecca. All right. All right, time to make a little relief. Oh no! The inherent acoustic force of me using a chisel. Tried to knock the phone down. But yeah, I think after this, we're going to get it assembled and start filling in holes and doing prep work for paint. I'm stupid glad we're getting to the point of finally doing the plethora of projects that are in my mind to do.
Do 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 do. Okay, we need to pin you down again. We're gonna do this. So do 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 do. <laughs> Come on. There you go. Nope, 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 nope. Give me a good grip. Be a good clamp. I said be a good clamp. All right, there we go. Good clamp. Good, good clamp. Yeah, I, I still need to like basically teach myself how to use that thing. If I got to stare at these little recesses, I might as well make this uh, a little professional looking. Make it at least look less like someone just took a chunk out of it with a chisel and a little bit more like someone thought about what they were doing. say if you're going to do a lot of hinge work get yourself a little 271 style router plane because because the big one the 71 style router plane is a little bit fumbly for little things like this but my god is it good for dados That one's good. But yeah, Mecca, I am stupid happy that we're gonna end at prep for painting. Um, got a bunch of other like projects around the house that I'm gonna be doing tomorrow and the rest of the day. So prep for painting is probably where we will actually stop today. We'll just get out of can and uh, fill in some holes and then before Wednesday I'll probably take all the hardware off and have it all labeled so we can just mix up some, some sweet sweet milk paint and just go to town and who knows maybe I'll just start painting it off camera um, and instead work on your dovetail uh, your dovetail template, but honestly, probably gonna probably gonna paint because painting will take up a good portion of the bench. Yep. 
Yeah, th these guys are immensely useful. If you're doing hand hand tooled uh, recesses for uh, hinges and stuff like that, gives you a nice flat bottom. that depth stop. Also, Lee Nielsen has this really cool depth stop here so that I can just work my way down to the same head. Yep, yep, flat bottom curls. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you were actually on, sh on the stream Wednesday when I said it, but eventually this is going to be one of my new subscribe. Oh, let me do it the QL way. This is going to become one of my, uh, the next tier up on my uh, subscriber uh, badges because I think, what was it? Uh, Twitch gave me another one, I think, for like a year or two years or something like that. So I was just going to go ahead and put the new big big baby in as the next one. Because I have that running theme of just different style hand planes. that big of a deal like I said it's just shop project and you learn as you go if anything all these shop projects have been teaching me a lot hand tool woodworking wise and I'm glad that I was like let's build a tool chest let's build this let's build that so that all of <laughs> all of my shop stuff has mistakes in it that I learned from and got better from you know, some experience for me to draw on. So when I'm like, yeah, no, let's, do, we're going to do it this way. Okay. Got things to consider next time. Now should fit beautifully. Uh, the problem is I can't remember which way is left and right. Okay, this is left. Stay. This is right. Hinges don't line up, they don't line up. I wonder what that means. Because they're not symmetrical to the top. Haha. -ha. <laughs> I've made it fail proof. They're not symmetrical because there's this extra inch right here of material as a lip. back on and then we are going to go crack out some uh, some filler start filling in all of these screw holes that made it through like see these these made it through those shouldn't be there
do. Let's see. One year, three months, two days, 16 hours, nine minutes, and four seconds. Wow. Stream anniversary is November something. Or is it October or something? Um, it's a 15th. I want to say November 15th. I'll double check it. But we're coming up on it again. I've got to figure out what I'm going to do then. been going for two years. Jeez, time flies. Yeah, I was about to say, you didn't get to watch me struggle making the saw bench. That was, that was an epic adventure. Um, because I mean, uh, everything is, uh, currently, uh, like my streaming setup is currently sitting on my Black & Decker workmate. That was my workbench, making the saw bench. Um, and I mean, it was also partly my workbench making the big bench because I think, Mecca, you got to see me struggle like trying to joint a board on the, on the thing, eight foot boards. Yeah, because I think, I think, I think I was at the point of of making the tabletop itself the 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 top itself I think I had already gotten the leg assemblies mostly done yep, we're gonna do that I, I honestly don't remember exactly when you came in. I know Nail, if, if, if she's here, she saw basically the entire Struggle Bus adventure. I remember she got to watch me cut my first dovetails to uh, um, make the saw bench. I was, <laughs> that was a long Struggle Bus adventure, making the saw bench, but I, I was stupid happy once it was made. Oh, I, I like the thing. It's just there are certain axes that you can't use a workmate. And fun tidbit, I don't think, I don't know if you remember this or if you were here when I had said it. Um, my Nicholson is the exact same height as the workmate on purpose. Um, so that I can use the workmate as a bench extension. Whoa! Do we got... Hey, Hansa! Thank you for the raid, mate. Thank you for the raid. Give me two seconds, and I'll show you where we're at. Uh, just give me two seconds, because we actually have decent progress to show you. Got to put this screw in, otherwise it, it won't work. Failure of one screw. Okay. So, Hansa. Um, you've probably seen it before. Uh, well, let's do this. Everyone who's uh, raiding in from Hansa's stream, I'm Wes. This is plain old woodworking. I do a lot of hand tool woodworking. What we're doing right now, I'm going to just bring you over here. This, I'm going to step over here so you can actually see it. This is my Dutch tool chest. Um, currently, it resides on a saw bench. This is actually something I need for uh, doing hand ripping of boards and stuff like that. And what we are actually doing at the moment is making a rolly base to it. Okay, let's see if I can get it to lock. Okay, good. 
Um, this is the rolly base. And we are 98% done with it because. Big fat, ugly, bug faced oh. baby eating O'Brien? Hi. Are we muted? <clears throat> Lady Thor, thank you for the follow. Are we muted? It doesn't look like it's muted on my side. This isn't turned off either. Oh yeah, um, <laughs> there's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, Muppet Treasure Island on mine. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so this is my rolly base that I've been making. Um, from the top, you can see these. Uh, sorry, this one. I always I always forget that it's reflected up there. This is a cleat system to hold the the top in, the top portion part. Okay. Oh, we're doing pretty good, Hansa. Um, look, I, I I actually have a rolly base now for my. Let me do this because the floor is slightly tilted this way. Otherwise, it's gonna just roll right off. I'll double check it because it. I hadn't shimmed up. I may just need to shim up the bench eventually. But this is the rolly base for my big uh, tool chest. So now I've got an extra area for tools. Okay, I need to take a block plane to that. Um, and it's going to sit like the, the Dutch tool chest has a couple cleats that will sit into these uh, C shapes here to lock it in place. So we're, we're about to have a rolly ch a Dutch tool chest. We're basically at the point of filling in any errors. Um, if you can see, yeah, like here and here where I accidentally drilled all the way through when I was about to put a screw in. Oh, it's nice and sturdy. I, li I like to brag about like my, my woodworking should be able to hold, hold we used to make coffee tables that me and my dad would joke and say, you could park, if you could park a car on it, it would hold the car. Um, <laughs> let's see, what, what do we got left? We need to even out the top of the door. We need... Okay, so we need to block plane the top. Here comes the fun part because this is not gonna sit still if I do this. I don't want to take the wheels off. <laughs> hmm. Where's my block plane? Let's see what we can do. It's just catching here. What I can tell. Honestly. One second, let me find the latch hardware. That's paste wax. Where's my latches? No, I have one somewhere. Ah, here we go. Here's the hasp. Okay, how are we going to hasp this on? Can we? That would not work, so we do need to hasp it this way. Okay. Next question Where are the screws? Or did this even come with screws? Okay, it did come with screws. Came with really, really long screws. These might be the ones that I just cut all the way. Yeah, I would have to cut the tips off of these. Okay. So, oh, I know how to do this. Give me two seconds. I know how we're going to plane this thing flat. When in doubt, just take it off the wheels. Get, those, get these guys locked in. Okay. Do we want to use...
Oh, it's working. Okay, now we need to clean up these edges. Let me get a sacrificial piece of wood that I don't care about. Dumb dumb. Let me raise that up a little bit more because this is not a rabbit plane. I need to make sure I clear that edge, otherwise, I just leave an edge and it stops cutting. All right. McLurkleston. All right, that, that's fine, Hansa. I mean, take your time. I know you've been forging all day, so take your time. We're actually getting close to the end of my stream as well. Um, just here doesn't want to play nice got it come back here and yes I have bigger planes than this just just um, it is just easier to uh, when you're fitting stuff like this to use a little block plane because I can hold stuff steady with this hand. I can pretty much do whatever I want with the block plane. Okay, almost there. Let's do a little more here. Most of the interference is right here. So I'm just, just trying to get it to free up. Yeah, can, if you can see, it's just hitting right there. What is that?
<laughs> Ominous cracking. What is that? And it stops. Still just a little bit too much touching on the back side here. Much better, let's touch this side and it's gonna start cr making cracking noises, right? Got to oil up the hinge. Got it. Okay, where are we at? That fits. Okay, beautiful. Now, don't like this hasp, but it will do. <laughs> For the reasonings of why I do not like this hasp. It's painted. Like, if you're gonna give me a cast iron has powder paint it, don't paint it with an enamel. Okay. Question is if I use this. If I remember correctly, I don't know if I can use the brass screws. We're going to pull them out just in case because I don't feel like cutting the... I remember these also being very pathetic screws. Yeah, there's your answer. Can't use the brass ones. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. These are very pathetic screws, but... They will do. All right. Another thing to check. Do I need to change drill bits? Funnily, no, but okay. Yeah, I need to... Oh, okay. That makes me stupid happy. All right. I'm slowly losing old school dr drill bits. Slowly losing them. Where is my vice grip? There we go. Mecca, you can't really fault me for doing this. The drill bit has snapped in half. So we're just getting it out. All right, time to just start using modern drill bits, I guess. I don't like using them, but... Huh. I do like using them, but it's one of those things where like I had more variety in the, okay. The F if I knew what size I was using. Close enough. 
Okay, on your wish list, more drill bits. That's just a shame. That is just a shame. These fluted bits I'm, I, I can never find, so I guess I'll just start replacing the sizes with modern double, double flutes. Interesting. How did that even happen? Quite literally, how did that happen? Oh, duh. <laughs> how, how did I get that to work out that way? Probably because I'm using the wrong side. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I, I just broke one of my flute bits and I'm not happy about it. All right. But... <laughs> Say lovey. Get this started so that I can, because I'm almost certain this is going to pop right through. That is going to annoy the piss out of me. I'm going to have to figure out what which hinge is doing that. Oh, sweet. It barely even comes through. Good, 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 good. That means... Hell. Lock the baby down. We'll just use it like a screwdriver at this point. That's going to forever piss me off. <laughs> last time which is draw the outline so that it lines up okay and drill and put these on and then we're gonna just start filling holes guys cuz we are at the end of what I can do today Um, typically it's a two hour stream. Um, I stream, uh, let's see, this is a, uh, Swagman, uh, typically it's two hours. I typically stream, uh, Sunday mornings and Wednesday afternoons, uh, in my time, in my time zone. Cause I, you might be across, across the way, like, uh, like, uh, Hansa is for me. Um, I believe it's, I think we're UTC 7, or is it 4? I can't ever remember. Um, but 
Central Time Zone, United States. Oh, come on. Nope, 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 nope. You're not going in there diagonally, thank you. Where is the other screwdriver? No way in hell I'm driving you at a 30 degree angle to, to plumb. Um, but yeah, typically two hours. Sometimes on the Sunday streams I do four. Um, but GMT5, thank you. I was wrong in both accounts. Now that we got this started, let's just use my little. Oh, I love the Yankee when it works. Because this thing is great. Okay, so we are on to filling holes and then probably shutting down. Let me. Get that stuff out because filling holes is quick and easy dirt. Provided I can find it. Ah, there it is. Uh oh. Hope this was stored correctly. Let's get dangerous. Get all of this over here for right now. Don't need you. Broken drill bit goes to the trash. That'll be the second out of the set that I have broken that came with that, dr that uh, drill. Someday I'll find more. At least the Yankee drill has them, but they have the wrong kind of shank. All right. All right. Now, we got us a nice, fully functional. fully functional lower compartment. For uh, the Dutch tool chest. Which is great because I really need something to store my tools in a little bit or a little bit just to be able to move my tools around would be great instead of having them stuck in the one position they are. All right, so we got that. Where is some? Okay, where is the can opener? Hopefully this wasn't stored the wrong way up and it's still good. This is the industrial stuff. You store it upside down so that the uh, alcohol can't, oh, yep, it's still good. The alcohol can't escape. Let me get Minimax out of the way because God forbid I destroy that guy. Alright, what we need, something to mix it with. Let's just continue with blasphemy. Oh no, you mixed it with a screwdriver. This is, this is the old American-made craftsman. It, 
means nothing uh, to mix it mix it with a screwdriver for me because that's that's just old old technology there all right so now do we have a Genki gift card or did I get rid of all of those? It looks like I got rid of all of those. Okay, what am I gonna spread it with then? I don't have any more spent gift cards or get rich quick scheme credit cards that get brought in in the mail. What do we got, what do we got, what do we got? I didn't think this part through. Oh no. Um, num, 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 Nope. I can't believe I don't have just a. I, I honestly can't believe I don't have one down here. Sorry, guys, for the uh, boring delay here. Well. As the cookie crumbles, we use the screwdriver. Okay. Any holes on top? No. Dovetails we're not worried about. Anything back here that needs filling? No. Well, here's something I do want to do. I do want to get some of this on this back edge here where I kind of marred up everything. So this product's called plastic wood, a little bit different than wood filler, uh, or not wood filler, but uh, for me, it's an industrial grade wood filler. It dries hard as sin. Um, actually bonds to the wood. That's the thing I don't like is about a lot of the ones you get at in market or at a hardwood hard hardware store that they don't really bond to the wood. They do fill stuff up, but they'll just crumble and fall right back out. This stuff um, will become damn near impossible to sand. Um, which is why I like it. Um, Not quite like the Dutch tool chest where I had put it together with screws, taken it apart, put it together with nails, had a bunch of holes to fill. Okay, that's good. The other thing is it, it doesn't like to stick to flesh. So like, it'll fall right off of this stuff here. Okay, what else do we have? We've got a couple holes here. Can't believe I'm doing this the old school way with a flathead screwdriver. filled and then fill these guys in here where I went insane and drilled through everything and I've got a bunch of little scab holes that I want to fill on the inside here oh you're gonna unlurk there <laughs> Glad, glad to see you're moving around again there, slime. Okay, fill that one, fill these. 
Uh, that's all the holes there. There's that apparently too. And then we have a bunch of bust out from putting these wheels and the top locks on. So I just want to make sure we got these covered because there's I don't want my I don't want my tools rubbing up against bare steel from bust out. Okay, we're good here. Okay. Let me just peel that up so I can just fill it in. Yeah, I know this has got to be riveting stuff for you guys to watch. Okay, there should be pretty much a bunch of them up here. Honestly, let me do this because it's going to be easier if I flip it up on end. Again, okay, it's going to just be way easier on me because I can actually see what I'm poking in. Okay, here, some there, because I'm just Filling in where nails and stuff busted out a little bit of wood, you know. Okay, and then this side. It's all going to get sanded down anyways. Okay. With that, Where, A, where is the screwdriver so I don't let it just, oop, there. there we go, screwdriver's clean, enough, <laughs> break yourself off my hand, oh, well, about that, yeah, let's do that too. Before we go too far. Fill in these that I didn't even see. There we go. a smart person because it does rely on oxygen getting to it but I don't want to stress the hinges either all right with that I think we are done for today. Yeah, that creek's gonna gonna drive me nuts. Anyway, so let's see who we can raid out on here, guys. We've got let's see, we got Texas Space Agency and Squilky are actively going. 
We have, who else do we have in Makers and Crafters? A lot of Legos. Beads. Painting. Sorry, I, I just like to search out and see if I can find anyone to raid out on. Also, as, as always, feel free to uh, suggest a raid. But it looks like it might be Texas Space Agency today. I think that, yeah, we are, we're going to do a uh, Texas Space Agency. It looks like uh, he's doing a barbecue and blacksmithing. So for you guys coming from Hansa, back to blacksmithing, I guess. All right. All right, there we go, guys. When you guys are ready, have a good one, guys. I will see you Wednesday. Um, most likely not streaming tomorrow, even though I've got the day off. I've got a bunch of other projects I want to work on as well. Um, most likely, I will get this thing prepped and ready. Wednesday, we'll start painting. So guys, have a good one. Say hello to Texas Space Agency for me, and uh, have, have a good day.